Shh, keep it down, keep it down, y'all. Keep it down. So I'm coming to you guys from a highly undisclosed location. I'm gonna let you guys know where I'm at in a minute. Man, what's good, YouTube? This your boy Whisper Thing, and I'm back up in this thing, baby. So today I'm coming to you guys from a location. We've talked about it a little bit before on the channel. I haven't really had it on too much. I've hinted around it, but today's the day for you guys to see, man. So this is the shop. This is gonna be the new shop for the channel. Really low key, just the old shop for me, but this is my family shop. So I'm gonna show you guys around here today. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about my plans coming up and what we doing. Well, that light turned on. This light, not so much. We've got a hoist right here or a car lift for some of you guys. If you don't know what a hoist is, it's an actual one that came from GM. Yup, yup. Now, as I'm sure you guys can quickly see, this shop needs a lot of TLC. So that's what I'm going to be doing because I've got to get this place ready to get my car in here. I've got my exhaust coming like you guys know about, and I got big plans coming for my car period so you guys definitely stay tuned for that so let me walk you guys around a little bit show you a little bit of what we're working with in here now obviously this entire area here needs to be cleared out because my family's pretty much just been using this shop to store stuff in lately now i've used this shop before and i've used this hoist here before i used to drive a 2001 mustang gt i'll throw some pictures up here in here let you guys see what I used to drive. Show my car up on this hoist. I ain't been to the back corner of the shop in a cool minute. But check it out, you guys. This right here is my stock exhaust for my old Mustang. This right here is my mid pipe. It's got the two upper cats and the two lower cats. So my Mustang was straight piped. There's my stock springs right there. I had my Mustang lowered. There's, I don't know if my old clutch is in there. So I have an upgraded stage two clutch and I also have a lightweight flywheel on my Mustang. Right there. Uh, that's a lightweight flywheel right there. At some point, I'm finna pull my Mustang out for the channel. Full bolt on, loud as hell. It was fun too, it was stick. Here's the cold air intake I had on here. I don't even know what's in that box. It says SLP on there, so that must have been part of my exhaust or something like that. When I tell y'all we got gems in here, I ain't playing. It's a 1957 Cadillac. It's the big body. I apologize if it's a little bit grainy in here. The lights obviously aren't working. That's one of the first things we gotta do is replace that light. Now this place was wired to have lights all put up here, but family never got around to it. This place is like a wonderland, man. It's seriously a little bit of everything in here. Over here's the toolbox with the tools. Definitely needs to be organized a little bit. All kinds of fluids for whatever you might need. I know a lot of this stuff looks like it's kind of old and it's older, and it actually is, but not many people have all of this stuff, you know, to be able to use on tap whenever they need it. We got some heads right here. If I'm not mistaken, these go on a big block. Obviously, my family's just kind of been keeping supplies in here, you know? And so I got to get all this stuff cleared out of here so that I can get my car up on this hoist. Okay, you guys, so I finally came up with a little bit of a plan and what I'm about to do. Now, as you can see, there's all the... Now, as you can see, we've got this stuff underneath this tarp right here that I need to get out of the way just so I can even get into this place so we can even begin to actually clean the shop up. Now, I could just get everything moved out of the way, get my car in here, and not have to worry about it. But like I said, this is my family shop. We kind of store stuff around here. So I actually want to get this place a little bit cleaned up so that it's just usable and it's part of the channel and it's organized. So this is going to be a process. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way right here and pull everything out. We're going to see what we're working with and then we'll figure out what we're doing. So one, two, three, boom. Whoa, there we go, huh? Looking a lot better. I was only able to get this side right here cleaned out. I know it seems like it's been probably 10 seconds to you guys, but it's been like four hours or something. I've been out here cleaning. You guys can see me sweating, man. Right now in California, it's a hundred and something degrees today and it's like three o'clock right now. So I'm done for today. I'm gonna stop. 
But while I was cleaning up, man, look what I found right here. Let's check out what I got underneath this cover. So this right here is my quad. I haven't shown it to you guys on the channel yet. It's actually pretty cool. So my quad, it's not like a Kawasaki or anything like that. It's actually a Chinese brand, but they base it all on the Honda. And so this is actually like the racing model. I think it's a four or a five speed. I can't remember for sure. But yeah, this is like the racing model. They base this off of the racing Honda. I don't really know what the names are or nothing like that. If you guys know more about these, you can tell me about it. It's got the... A few moments later. It's got the, uh, what do they call it? Like a wet clutch or something like that. And I think the clutch actually is sitting in oil. I would go ahead and get it started up for you guys right now, but I haven't started it in probably like a year. So before I start this up, I'm gonna need to clean out the carburetor. So if you guys wanna see this on the channel, see me riding around on this. I mean, as you can tell, it's brand new. I don't even think I've completed the break-in period on it, honestly. So if you guys wanna see this on the channel, man, smash that like button and drop comments down below letting me know you wanna see the ATV on the channel. I'll go take this thing out, ride it around. We'll get some footage for you guys. I know not everybody may like these uh, Chinese brand ones or whatever. I know they're a little bit prone to like having issues and stuff, but the parts, the parts are so freaking cheap for these that it's like, it's whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. The first thing I wanna do though, is upgrade the exhaust on this thing. This exhaust right here, it kept coming loose. I got it on there pretty tight now, but I don't know, it's like the um, gasket right in here where it connects to the motor itself. I don't know, man, this is like a janky exhaust. Look at this well job. I feel like they just put whatever on here. So I wanna buy a new exhaust for this thing. I've rode this thing a few times. It's definitely quick. Like I said, I haven't finished the break-in period, so I haven't even been able to go full throttle on this guy yet. Now, in terms of this shop, like I said, this is the shop for the channel. It's gonna be a part of the channel. Just needs some TLC, so probably over the next week or so. This is what I'm gonna be working on, so you guys stay tuned for this. All right, you guys, so we're leaving the shop right now. Sorry if you hear wind noise in the background. I got my AC on, man, look at it. It's a hundred degrees outside, so I got to have my AC on. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, so as you saw, we got that shop. We got the front of it all cleaned up. Now we're gonna start working with what we've got in the way of the lift. It honestly feels really good to start getting this thing cleaned out, man. This has been my family shop since, I mean, it's been there since I was a little kid, little baby, you know, and so, I've done a lot of stuff in this shop before, whether it was working on my Mustang or when I was 16 years old, my aunt actually gave me her old Mustang. She had a 1964 and a half Mustang. If you guys know what those are, they were like the pre-production Mustangs that came out before the actual first year of Mustangs in 1965. So they call them 64 and a half. But anyways, I was 15, 16 years old. I was sanding that car down and stuff. I primered the whole car inside of that shop. I put up like tarps everywhere inside of there, you know, to keep the dust from falling on it and everything. And I've worked on other people's cars in there. I don't know, I've just done a lot in that shop. So as I was there today, just sort of looking through stuff, it was bringing back a lot of memories for me, man. So I'm hyped to finally get this beast in there, man. I've never had my Camaro on that hoist since I've got it. I've had my Camaro for about two years now, if you guys don't know. So yeah, I'm just excited to get back working on that. Like I said, it's my family shop. We got a lot of memories. It definitely needs some serious TLC, as you guys obviously saw. Woo! <laughs> Come on, dude, what you doing, boy? Damn, bro. Look at this dude right here fucking up my whole mojo. Look at you, bro. But I'm out. <laughs> Woo! I love this motherfucker, y'all. I love this thing. Anyways, like I was saying, back to the shop. It just feels good to be getting back to that. It brings up a lot of memories. My family built that entire shop and everything. So 
yeah man it just means a lot to me so i'm super hyped to get that thing back going but anyways that's the video for today y'all stay tuned for the upcoming videos getting that thing cleaned out smash the like button comment if you want to see my quad but this your boy whisper thing i'm about this thing baby peace